This is still kinematics video, um, but it's kinematics too. But somebody asked me to add a question solution to what you see online in our lessons that I did not have in the video. I did not add it because I wasn't sure that it's exactly 100% physics related. It's more math related, but you need to know acceleration. So let's look at the questions that I was asked about. So in this question, they say an object does the free fall and it covers 400 meters distance during the last four seconds of its motion. Find the height at which it was dropped off. Um, so I know acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second squared. So I do not know the height the object is coming from, but it started from zero meters per second. It was dropped. And then they're saying that it will cover um, 400 meters in four seconds. So I'm gonna call this velocity um, velocity. In four seconds later, this velocity is going to be v plus 40. So wherever this velocity was, I have to add 10 for each second and then get this velocity. And your distance is equal to average velocity times the time. And in our case, the distance is 400. Average velocity, I have v to start with and this one to end with. So if I add them together, I will have 2v plus 40. Divide by 2, so that's average velocity between this velocity and this velocity, the top one and the bottom one. And the time is 4 seconds that took to travel this distance. So if I simplify this, I will have 400 equals 2. 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. And I still have 2v plus 40. Then I divide both sides by 2. So I divide this side by 2 and this side by 2. I get 200 is equal to 2v plus 40. Then I have v is equal to 160 divided by 2. So that is 80 meters per second. So this velocity v is 80 meters per second. So if this is 80 meters per second, then this velocity is 120 meters per second. Then I know that it has been falling down for 12 seconds to get to the velocity of 120 meters per second because if it starts from zero, it adds each second 10, 10, 10 because acceleration is 10. So the final velocity is gonna be 120 only in 12 seconds. And if I want to calculate this distance traveled, so I'm going to call this distance big D. So this distance is equal to average velocity times the time, but average velocity for this interval, for the green part of the interval. So this is, um, initial is 0, final is 120, average is 60 times 12 gives me 720 meters. So that is this question. There are a few questions like this on in our PDF files, so I would uh, play these videos and open the PDF files at the same time, pause the video and do the questions from the PDF file when you follow those lessons and try to solve the questions that I have not solved. I'm going to do one more of these questions, maybe this one, number 42. So in this case, they say an object was shot at an angle with the horizontal and if it lands 80 meters um, away in eight seconds what was the initial velocity of the object so it was shot under an angle with the horizontal so it's a projectile motion it landed eight 80 meters away so this is 80 meters and it took eight seconds to fall down that means it took only four seconds to get to the top and then four seconds to fall down. So from here, I know that initial velocity was 40 meters per second because um, your acceleration or acceleration due to gravity is equal to 10. It equals to the change of the velocity over the time. Your initial velocity, I'm gonna call this V sub zero. So I know it is 40 meters per second, but I am going to show you how I get 40 meters per second. So your initial velocity is sub zero, but your final vertical velocity is zero meters per second. 
and your horizontal velocity doesn't change so it stays all the way through the movement um, the same so I'm gonna call it the VX so this VX is equal to the distance horizontal it traveled over the time so that is 80 divided by 8 and horizontal velocity is 10 meters per second so that one stays the same now back to the vertical motion so the vertical motion horizontal motion not related to each other and if you're looking for initial velocity um this one at which her vertical velocity at which the um the object was shot then i have acceleration is 10 so i'm gonna write 10 is equal to and it gets to the top in four seconds because it falls down in eight seconds and then you have a final velocity which is zero minus initial velocity which is this vertical velocity let's call it vertical velocity y and your acceleration is negative 10 because you're decelerating so from here you can see that initial vertical velocity was 48 meters per second now if you want to calculate how high it went you need average velocity so you start from 40 and your final is zero so average is 20 and the time took to take to the top is uh, to get to the top is four seconds so the height it will go to is also 80 meters and it just happened that they match with each other um, in different questions you probably will not see them match in each other and i will stop at this video so just two questions that um, i thought was interesting to to show you how to solve and um, thank you for watching continue watching the rest of the videos